Are you feeling crabby about this cold weather? Well, our guest chef is too, but he has the perfect recipe for you. We are cooking up a storm with meteorologist Jacob Dickey today. All right, so. You, you know, I actually wrote that line for you. Well, you you're really? I That's because Nancy, he's I always said, crabby. I said, Nancy, put a pun in there, please. Are you crabby about the cold weather? Because I've got the perfect crab dip for you. I shouldn't have said Ooh. it then. Yeah. Sarah is a <laughs> huge fan of crab I rangoon. love Are crab you? rangoon. Really? Yeah. When I found out that you were doing this, I almost passed out. Now, remember, this is a dip. Usually the crab rangoon's got like more <laughs> right. of a solid center. This is more like a cheese dip. Right. You've got some crab in there. Which, which actually, really good. I feel like make it better. I, I can't wait to hear what goes into it besides... Crab. Crab, yeah. That's and cheese, the big thing. apparently. We're talking about a crab dip, right? Uh, I like to use canned crab. So, right here, you can see some of my canned crab options. Uh, and the reason I like that over the imitation crab is because I just think the flavor is better. I think it looks mm. better, too. Imitation crab, there's nothing wrong with it. It's good in some things, but I just think the, the crab meat that's in a can is going to get us a better flavor on this. You couldn't and have, like, you, gotten us a fresh crab from Well, and as I say, if you, if you want to pay the extra <laughs> money and you want to spend it on. <laughs> Fresh crab, right. by all means, get that. I, I personally am a imitation crab all the way. That's I don't know. It's just, I, <laughs> I love imitation me. crab. I've known Heather to be very picky about her food, and for her to say that she likes imitation you know, crab. Over I'm going to tell you thing. what it is. The crab salad uh, sandwich at Subway's. I've, the seafood Yes, salvation. those are my favorite. You know, I, I, I know. I used to work at Subway and make it. I have a lot of issues. That is, I did not like it. But all the other sandwiches are great. I love it. Okay, that's why that's why it's my favorite. All right. Okay, so well, anyway. let's talk about what we've got in here. So um, this is going to be a base of sour cream, cream cheese, and mayonnaise. The three good ones here. I went ahead and used a dairy-free sour cream and a dairy-free cream cheese, but you can use the regular stuff. That's totally fine. Oh. I just did that because my wife wanted some, and so she's sensitive to dairy, so we're cutting back on it. Aww, we make well. up for the dairy with also cheese. We're adding shredded Parmesan cheese. If you have grated Parmesan, that'll work just fine. But also we're adding mozzarella cheese in there. Wow. So uh, yeah, that makes it more of like a cheesy dip than it mm -hmm. does an actual, you know, you put it in wonton uh -huh. and make your homemade crab rangoon. We got that. We've also got some salt, pepper, and garlic in there. And then I've also added a little bit of, uh, how do you say this? <gasps> say it. Worcestershire. Wor wor yeah. Worcestershire. 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 That stuff. This stuff. The good Worcestershire. stuff. Worcestershire. Uh, this stuff I love putting in burgers. But a little bit in there is going to give it a nice little smoky flavor and help it to taste good. And uh, then, of course, we're going to add a little bit of chives in there. A little bit of uh, fresh chives. Why not? Slice them up, make it look good, and stick them on there. Mm -hmm. You yeah. can even garnish your... Uh, Put a little yeah. in there. And then the last thing is, usually with crab, you know, people talk about lobster, you know, they love lemon and butter with it. We're going to put a little lemon juice in there to help bring that flavor out to make it more authentic flavored, I guess yeah. you could say. That okay. So that's what we got here. Now, I've got this small crock pot, and it's been going for about 90 minutes or so. I wish I had a little oh. bit more time. Can you smell it? Oh my gosh, yes. That I was a little worried because so Heather was sitting there. Heather, can you smell it? She couldn't really. Uh, I, 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 it, it hit me now. Yeah, I've had this for it. about 90 minutes or so, and I might would rather get it up to two hours. So by the time we eat it, I think it'll be better. A little bit runny right now. If that's the case, I went ahead and added some more cheese to help give it some glue. Oh, sure. Uh, but I don't know. Maybe just do that anyway. Perfect size. It's, it's adorable. One Thank and a half you. Ones. How many crock pots do you own? Um, are your crock pots like those um, Russian nesting dolls where they just like? <laughs> no, they definitely all are. Not that. Uh, so we actually got two new crock pots for our wedding mm. back in the summer, but we haven't opened them yet because we figured when we move to a new place, we'll get to enjoy the new stuff. And so we're just using oh. the old things. And then Mama Dickie hey. gave me this little one. Here. Oh, we love that. Is adorable. You think I? So I have, I guess, four. My mom has like seven or eight. I mean, there's a wow. lot. Wow. We need her on the show. Yeah, we do. Tell her to call oh us. Oh, my word. There's an idea. Okay. Okay. We may. Well, well she's, yeah. mom's probably watching. Make a personal appeal. I, Mama Dickie, Mama come Dickie. cook with Jacob. Right. Or Dickie just like by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> like or give Jacob a like. Switch it up on, a little. Give him a like on Facebook where oh, yeah. um, he shares all of his wonderful recipes, which we will also have on Sailor.tv. Yep. Uh, big reveal coming up. I can't wait. Thanks. I want to eat.